Hi guys, back in the camper here for part two. I was actually out working in my garden tilling and it started raining so I figured uh, it's a good time to get in the uh, camper here and get some work done. Uh, we're expecting thunderstorms so uh, my work may be cut short but uh, we'll see if we can't get some of this stuff ripped out, make a bit of a mess and uh, progress a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna get started. So first off, I'm tearing out everything that's not needed or rotten from the front of the camper. Also, because most of this project is slow, tedious work, I'm using the time-lapse filming on my phone instead of regular video. This helps keep the file smaller so I don't run out of space while working, but it also means that there's no sound during these high-speed segments. The good news is, however, that I have a generator running while I'm working, so you wouldn't be able to hear much anyway. Let me know in the comments if you like the time lapse or if you prefer the old way that I would speed up long segments. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little break from the demolition and uh, structural stuff inside. And I'm gonna see if my pressure washer will, is gonna be enough to take this moss or whatever it is off of the uh, sides, the front and the back. And this will also give me a chance to see if there are any leaks on the front. Um, and if there's leaks on the top, I see that they put some sort of uh, roofing roll on there. And this was the second owner, I believe, that did that. And I don't know if the water damage was before they put this on or after. I'm assuming it's before, so we're going to see what kind of leaks we have. You can see on the right side I still have the uh, metal piece um, not screwed on. And that is because uh, I want to seal that off with flashing. You can actually see the wood that I replaced there and, and beefed it up a little bit. So I'm going to seal all that off before I screw that back in. So water may get in there when I'm spraying. but. It'll all dry out in the sun eventually. So I'm gonna start up the pressure washer and see if I can clean that stuff off. I just did the front and back of the trailer to get the moss off and I just came inside to see if we have any leaks and really everything is dry as a bone along all the seams even on the roof where we know there's a leak everything's dry there dry all along the back I can see a little drip oh no that's outside I did notice on the chair here some water but the window is open here, so that could have come from there. I'm trying to see where exactly that might have come from. But everything looks fairly dry, so I'm quite happy that this is uh, sealed enough that I can start uh, finishing the, uh, the interior, putting it back together. Okay, so when I left last, I had just pressure washed the front and back, and it's looking a lot better. I'm trying to get a little bit of work done before the sun goes down. It's about 8 o'clock now, running late. I uh, decided to seal up the outside edge here so I have enough wood in there that it's nice and strong. 
Um, so I just tried a, a cheap solution for now. We'll see how that works. I put some sheathing tape, about five layers, and then I put some draft stop tape just to, so it looks better than the red. It's still not that pretty, but it's going to uh, hopefully do the job and we'll see. I can always uh, seal it up with something later on, but just trying to get us going. So now I'm gonna jump inside and take a look at what I'm hoping to get started before the sun goes down. Now I'm looking at this area here where the fridge is gonna go. And here I have the vent for the sewage storage tank. So that's going right up here and this is where the sink was gonna go. Um, I'm looking at the 75 inches I need for a double bed and that lands me right here where my mark is on the floor. And if we look, that's right in line with the plumbing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this back. I'm gonna cap that vent right there and I'm gonna move the sink where it is back there. So now I'm looking at building just a little platform that I can put the fridge on to clear that pipe. So I've got to build something. I got a bunch of two by fours in the truck. So I'm gonna do some sort of structure here, we'll see. And then I'm going to cap off that little vent where the, uh, the furnace was and then cover these guys up. But uh, that'll be another day. We'll see what we can get built tonight. Okay, I think it's pretty clear I'm not a carpenter, but I think that's gonna hold that uh, fridge just fine. And uh, I'm gonna have to cut out that vent with the sink, but it's one thing accomplished today. The sun's going down. It's time to uh, pack up for the night and uh, we'll get back at it tomorrow. Okay, so I've got a bit of a mess going on here. I just put some caulking, or not caulking, some spray foam insulation in all of those little seams, so I'm letting that expand. And I just filled that little hole down on the bottom where the vent is. And I wanted to see where this vent went because that's where the sink and the kitchen stuff used to be. So I think that was just gray water. Um, so I went underneath to see if there were separate tanks. There's only one tank and this goes to uh, right at the outlet from the sewage tank. So I don't see why I really need this now because I'm no longer using the sink here. It's just gonna be fairly clean water dumping straight out. It's probably not allowed, but that's how I'm gonna do it. And there's also another vent all over here. There's another vent here in the bathroom for the sewage tank. So I don't think I need this guy here. I'm gonna cut that out and that'll be one less hole to leak in the roof later on so I'm gonna get rid of that now and it'll also uh, give me a chance to put um, a brace along the top rail there so I, what I want to do is I want to take a 2x4 and run it straight front to back just to give it some extra strength here I can see some of the wood is only like half rod in and not, not nearly as strong so I'm gonna beef that up with a 2x4 running along the top then I'm gonna do those two or three uh, arch braces that I want to do to give it some extra strength. So by getting that pipe out of there, that'll help. So I've been doing some reinforcing here and I didn't realize the camera was off. I thought it was recording. So I added a two by four up there to help support those top rails because they're not very big and another one here and it only goes about three quarter back so i'll add a piece in the back and then i added this little beam here to give the roof a little more support and try to straighten it out just a little bit so the water doesn't pool in the middle so now i'm just adding some little braces in the corner and this will be all exposed once i do put up uh, the uh, paneling but i'll just stain it and i'm okay with the rough look of the wood so I'll leave that as is so now I'm just gonna finish putting up those uh, braces in the corners
Okay, so that should help with the support and rigidity of the structure. So I'll feel a lot better sleeping under this knowing it's not going to cave in. But really this hasn't caved in with all the winters we've had, snow load on it, it's been fine. So my buddy Pierre aka Twisted Iron came by today to help me with the roof and have a peek at the camper. Our curiosity got the best of us and we started poking around the back of the camper. This is where we found more water damage and rot. So I decided I was going to have to strip the back of the camper to fix that side as well. Okay, so I've got a bit of a mess going here. Uh, I saw that the top corners were rotted, just the little cut pieces, just inside of that exterior piece. The rest was good. So I ripped that out and you can just see a little back here. See that stuff? It's still in good shape. So I tore out everything else. This piece here is like halfway, but I'm gonna leave it anyway. I'm gonna put a good piece in the back and. This is from 1976, so what was there had rotted and still held together, so anything I put here is going to be good for 10 plus years. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to replace the wood just below the plywood. I might even cut out that last little piece there. There's a piece of metal from the frame underneath there, so that's good and strong. I may even add another piece just on the end just to reinforce it. A couple extra 2x4s. For, for me, it's... Uh, a small cost compared to the people that when, when they were building this they were trying to keep costs down and using as little wood as possible but for me weight isn't an issue and a little bit of extra wood isn't too bad so i'm going to rebuild all of this stuff uh, and reinforce it and hopefully get it back together and have it look half decent in the meantime i've just got my little mess here i'm throwing that in the fire 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 band's finally over so i've got that stuff burning right there so clean up my mess so I'm gonna get to that now okay so I'm gonna call it a day now there's a bunch of stuff I did that I didn't film just because it was really messy and lots of cursing and um, it wouldn't have made for good shots so I cut out the boards that were here the plywood anything that was rotten it was rotten in the corners and just in the middle here and I cut back um, on those floor supports. Uh, as far as the, the next um, frame brace, frame rail, and uh, I think what I'm gonna do is, there's a little bit of insulation in there, but I'm gonna get some two by twos, and I'm gonna add some extra two by twos, just in case those are weak further down. It seems to be quite dry from this point on, but just in case, I'm just gonna add a couple of extra ones just for some insurance. I'm going to put uh, two by four, maybe two by six even, along the bottom here. Uh, build a brace like I did in the front there. So one of those little braces, I'm gonna build it here, uh, going just inside that little closet area, back down here. So that should give me lots of strength in back. So I'll have some strength near the front. I should even add one at the front. I'll decide later, I'm gonna do that. I think it's quite uh, rigid up there. But one in the center, I've got, I'm gonna add one here, and I think uh, that'll be plenty strong. Then I can close this back up, rebuild the door, and uh, get back to making it look nice and not just structural stuff. So I'm gonna wrap up for today. I've got a mess to clean up. I'm gonna bag this stuff before it gets windy and uh, secure this wall so it doesn't fall off. Get out of here so this gets really windy here sometimes, especially in the, in the evening. So uh, I'm going to have to attach that so it doesn't go anywhere. So that's it for today. All right, so I'm well rested and back at it again. We're gonna see if we can get this uh, back end restructured and supported. I've got a load of lumber right here. My tool's ready, so I'm 
going to get to it. Well, that's another day done. My battery died again, so I'm working longer than my battery is on my phone, so I had to charge it. Um, so I finished up the back end here. I put some strapping tape down like I did before and some draft stop, but I ran out of draft stop, so I'm gonna have to get some more. I think I may even tape this off and go over it with Rocker Guard at one point, and that'll help seal everything up and make it look uniform. I taped the other side. Uh, just in case it rains, I put the door back, but that's not fixed yet. And I have a plan on what I'm going to do with that. It's something a little bit different, uh, if it works. Um, so I'm going to wrap up uh, this video now. This is the demolition and structural repair video. Um, now I'm going to be moving inside uh, to do plumbing, electrical, um, make it look pretty and functional. But uh, this was just to get the main structure rigid enough and safe enough to haul down the road and I think I've accomplished that. So I'm gonna end this video here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.